Hey guys, Adriana Jimenez joined here with WBO Junior Middleweight Champion Jaime Munguia. Jaime, good to see you again. Um, you have a good fight coming up next week, January 26th, on the zone in Houston against Inoue. Talk to me about how training camp has been going for this fight. Eh, bueno, pues muchas gracias por la entrevista. Este, la verdad es que estamos muy contentos de, de, de estar en la nueva plataforma de The Zone, eh, estelarizando una pelea. Y la verdad es que pues hemos tenido un, un, un gran campo de entrenamiento eh, con mucho tiempo. Thank you for the interview. Um, we're also very happy that we're on this new platform, The Zone, and that we're headlining uh, this this event. And uh, we have we've had an excellent camp. Eh, hemos tenido más tiempo que, que el año pasado en las, en las preparaciones pasadas anteriormente eh, tuvimos dos semanas de preparación por el título del mundo después seis semanas entonces eh, creo que yo creo yo que habían sido preparaciones cortas pero efectivas entonces ahora creo que tal vez esta preparación sea más efectiva hemos tenido alrededor de nueve diez semanas entonces estamos muy contentos por eso. I mean to say that there are, this camp has actually been longer. In previous camps we've had maybe two weeks before a world title fight and then after the, that camp six fights. It might have been short camps but they were effective. Uh, now I feel that we're having a great camp. We've had a lot of preparation. We had about nine weeks of to be prepared for this fight. Well I talked to your trainer Roberto Alcazar and He's telling me about um, how we all talk about your power, he f and he has, of course, felt that power during training camp, and um, he's expecting an explosive fight from you. Can, in your words, can you tell me what can fight fans expect on fight night? Eh, no, pues la verdad es que, como ya lo dije, eh, yo me considero un peleador agresivo que va va para enfrente buscando el knockout. Obviamente también. Eh, hemos estado trabajando en, en todos nuestros, en nuestros defectos, nuestra defensa, eh, todo ese tipo de cosas. Entonces yo creo que, como lo dice Roberto Alcázar, va a ser una pelea explosiva de golpes porque eh, Inoue tampoco eh, pues pega despacito, entonces yo creo que vamos muy bien. You know, um, like I've said before, I'm a fighter who's very aggressive, who likes to come forward. Um, but I've also been working on my defects. I've been working on my defense as well. Um, but like Roberto Alcázar said, uh, it's going to be an explosive fight because Takashi Inoue isn't a fighter who, has, who fights at a slow pace either. So it's going to be a great fight. When you look at the division, the 154-pound division, um, and we're speaking about your power, do you consider yourself one of the hardest punchers in this division? Eh, pues no, no sé si, si como tú lo dices, eh, tal vez eh, poderoso, pero creo que eh, pues mi intención siempre, eh, yo creo que es más fuerte que la de los demás, eh, ir a buscar el knockout, este, ser un peleador agresivo, creo que no, no se mira eso en, en muchos peleadores, pero esa es mi intención, ser un peleador agresivo, creo que tengo la pegada y para, 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 para noquear, entonces, este, simplemente, como ya lo dije, mi único defecto que, que la gente había dicho y creo que yo me di cuenta, eh, mi defensa, lo hemos, estado, lo hemos estado trabajando, pero sí, este, somos peleadores explosivos y agresivos. Regarding the strength, you know, I'm not sure, but what I have different or best is that I have the intention to go out there, be aggressive and look for the knockout. That's something that I don't really see uh, in a lot of fighters, you know. I do think that I have the power to knock out, but uh, aside, you know, di what's different from the other fighters that I do have the uh, intention to go out and knock out. But like I said, I've seen others made critiques. I've looked, at, I've seen it myself that uh, there are some defects I need to work out regarding my defense and stuff like that. Well, with 26 knockouts out of 31 fights, you definitely have the power there. Um, and, and now, we want, well, fight fans want to see, um, want to see you keep moving up, and we want to see unification fights. Is that where you're heading? Is that what you would like to do? We have Jarrett Hurd with two straps, and also uh, Tony Harrison, who just recently defeated Jermel Charlo. Is that what you're interested in, unifying one of those champions? Eh, sí, claro que estoy interesado en unificar eh, esos títulos, tal vez el tiempo no me alcance porque yo creo que yo voy a subir a la 160, no sé si tal vez dentro de esta pelea, dos peleas, este, pero 
yo creo que si nos quedamos en la 154, me gustaría unificar mi título. Si no, pues nos podemos encontrar en la 160. Yo no le veo ningún problema. You know, I would like to unify the titles, but I don't know if I'll be able to have enough time to do it because I feel like maybe I'd be able to, I'll have to move up to 160 pounds within a year or two. But I would like to, you know, unify the titles at 154, but if we have to move up to 160 pounds, we can meet there. I don't see no problem with that. If your time is pressed and you had to make an, a choice, in your opinion, um, wh who would you prefer to choose um, to fight? Would you prefer Hurd or uh, Tony Harrison? Harrison or Hurd? Eh, pues la verdad no, no lo sé, no tengo, eh, no tengo ninguna preferencia en, en alguno de los dos, pero yo creo que eh, pues yo, yo podría pelear con el que yo, con el que yo, o con el que se me ponga enfrente, pero eh, yo creo que la gente prefiere o, 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 o está más interesada en la pelea eh, con Hurd. You know, I don't know, I don't really have a preference, I'll fight against anyone they put in front of me, but it appears that the people have a, a preference or the people want to fight more with uh, Hurd. And um, just to finish off on the topic of, uh, of Jerry Hurd and Charlo, I'd like to get your opinion. Um, I don't know if you got to see the fight between Tony Harrison and um, Jermel Charlo. There was a, somewhat of controversy. Some people don't believe that that he beat him. Do you, if, did you see that fight and do you believe he did enough to beat the champ? ¿Hizo lo suficiente para ganar? Eh, sí, claro que miré. No miré la pelea completa. Miré algunos rounds. Eh, yo creo que, pues, no fue una pelea que tal vez haya ganado alguno de los dos. Yo creo que Charlo le faltó hacerlo, le faltó ir, ir a atacar. Yo la verdad los miré muy pasivos a los dos, pero este, yo creo que en, en, en mi opinión pudo haber ganado eh, Charlo porque tenía la preferencia de haber sido el campeón, pero este, no sé la verdad de, la opinión de los jueces. Como te digo, no miré la pelea completa. Eh, solamente miré que a Charlo le faltó eh, apretar un poco. You know, I don't know. I, I saw the fight. You know, I didn't see it completely. I saw a few rounds. But what I did see was that, you know, it's hard to pick which one would win. I feel like Charlo didn't do enough in the rounds. He wasn't aggressive. Um, you know, it's hard to pick which one. But I would say maybe Charlo because he was the champion. He has that that preference, uh, the preferential because he's the champion. But you know, my I don't know about the opinions of the judges. But if I had to choose, it would be Charlo because you know he he was the one who um, uh, uh, was the champion at the time. But I feel like you know, either one didn't really do enough in there. All right, you know how you mentioned uh, a few minutes ago that you, um, you don't know how, how much longer you're going to stay at 154 pounds, that you're planning on perhaps moving up to 160 soon. Um, right now you are with the zone, and we know that the zone is stacked with 160-pound talent. Are there any names that you already have your eye on? Yeah, no, la verdad es que no... no. No me he puesto a pensar ahorita, la verdad es que estamos concentrados en la pelea que tenemos eh, ahorita enfrente, que es Takeshi Noe, pero este, yo, creo que, eh, yo creo que el futuro y, y, y las empresas con las que estamos trabajando eh, van ir, van ir, este, tenen, nos van a ir teniendo los planes que vienen para nuestro futuro, pero ahorita estamos concentrados en la pelea que tenemos en puerta. I haven't really thought about it right now. We're 100% concentrated on Takashi Inui and the fight we have next. But I think as we move forward, the promoters that we're working with will start developing the plans. But right now, we're focused on the fight with Takeshi Inui. All right, well, and this is a fight we can't wait to see next week. If you can let fight fans know to not miss this fight, make sure to download the zone if they haven't done so. Um, let them know to catch your fight next week, January 26, or come in person in Houston. Sí, claro que sí, pues queremos invitar a toda la gente, eh, todos los que me siguen, este, que miren mi pelea el, el 26 de enero en, en el Toyota Center en Houston, Texas, por la aplicación de The Zone, la pueden descargar en su teléfono eh, por solo 10 dólares eh, al mes, ya no hay que pagar pay per view, ya no hay que pagar nada de eso, entonces la verdad, este, eh, pues los invitamos a todos, les vamos a ofrecer una gran pelea y, y vamos a buscar el knockout. Muchas gracias a todos por su apoyo. I want to invite everybody to my fight at the Toyota Center in Houston on January 26 on the DAZN app, which you can download on your uh, cell phone. Um, it's only $10. You don't have to pay any pay-per-view, none of that. So I invite you to watch it, and we're going to give you guys a great fight, and we're going to look for the knockout.
You heard it from the champ. Don't miss this fight. January 26th on The Zone. You can download it on your phone, but also you can watch it on your TV. We get that question a lot. You, of course you can watch it on TV, so make sure you don't miss it. Um, we will have on our bio link, you can uh, have a direct link to download The Zone through Fino Boxing. You get the first month free, like he mentioned, and then it's only $9.99 a month, so don't miss it. Thank you so much, Jaime. Good luck on your fight. Gracias a ti. Gracias.